All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another First Impressions Review. This is a game that came out yesterday on March 18th. It's Eternal Hunt. I just purchased the game. It has no reviews, and I have not played it yet. It comes in at a price tag of $7, and it's an action RPG. Uh, right up my alley, it looks like maybe a cheap man's Diablo. If we look here, we have WASD for... Looks like different skill sets. You're probably going to move your character with like right mouse button. Uh, skills are tab. You have a rage meter. Uh, looks like the uh, boss's health here. And it's kind of a top down. The graphics look pretty good, but it may just be, you know, uh, cobbled together assets for all I know. So, uh, isometric action RPG or you embark on an adventure to slay enemies in order to level up and unlock different skills and grow stronger. So I don't know if I really like it that. It sounds, that sounds like it's a pretty short game or there's not a whole lot to it. It doesn't say there's, you know, dozens of quests and your ultimate goal is to save a princess in dire need or anything like that. It just says you embark on an adventure to slay enemies and grow stronger. So that isn't too, uh, doesn't inspire too much confidence in me. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, guys. It is this developer's first game on Steam, Lucas MRM. And we're going to see if this game is worth your seven US dollars, and we'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to go ahead and launch Eternal Hunt and give this game its first Steam review. And hopefully, we can cross our fingers and hope for the best. So when we launch the game, this looks like an Unreal Engine game by the font and everything like that. We have a red cursor that it gives us now. Let's go into our graphic settings. Let's just go high. There is no audio or anything like that. We can only mute it and unmute with M. All right, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so we have five different hunts that we can do. These three, the first three tell you nothing about them. Wait a minute, let's go back to that main menu. Yeah, so if we hover our cursor over the first three, they say nothing about it, but then hunt four and five tell you that you're fighting elites or bosses and you start with 250 hit points and... 125 mana and 20 skill points. And the problem is the text is written right over the best times. And it looks really sloppy. So that's not great. I don't like the fact that we only have this as graphic options. And we have no sound options. And no leaderboards here. Um, yeah, this, is, this looks really rushed together. Let's go ahead and hunt the behemoth, though. Um... Right off the bat, we cannot move, we cannot zoom in and out on our character or anything like that. We do move with the right mouse button. We have D-A-W-S, but I assume these do not work and they don't because they're faded out. Looks like we have 100 health, 50 mana, and whatever, a rage meter here. And then we have experience 0 out of 100, tells us our level. Skill tab, this is if we level up, I guess we get skill points, and we can either level up our Fire faster, damage, or small chance on the rifle. And then we have grenades that we can we can take the grenades, it looks like. And then we can level those up with the same kind of thing. Damage, throw them faster, and special, you know, special effects, depending on Molotov, that kind of thing. And that's how we, the keys are how we throw or use each particular skill. Okay. Okay, so we just get close to the zombies, and they move to us, and they're kind of glitching out. That's not great. Okay, so I do like that the zombies, it shows how much damage is done when we shoot them. Ragdoll physics. Yeah, the game looks really sloppy. It, it does look certainly like an Unreal Engine game.
There's no growl sounds from the zombies, nothing like that. They all exactly the same asset. I wish the developer had used more than one asset for the zombies. That looks, that seems kind of cheap and lazy. Okay, so we killed five zombies, now what? Oh, more zombies. Okay, so there's no, it doesn't look like there's any chests to pick up, any health to gain, any items to gain, any ammo to pick up. We just have, okay, so level up, and I guess we got a, we got two skill points now. So we can, let's take a Molotov. Okay, and then let's uh, do upgrade damage on it. So now let's see if the S key does work. So now if I, yep. So there's what a Molotov looks like. I mean, that's kind of cool and all, but. So I just have unlimited Molotovs. That's kind of silly. Why would I ever use? But we don't hear any sound effects for the, the flames and the zombies burning. I, you know, we, I would want to like hear the zombies howling in pain and you know hear the sound of the flames going up and we hear nothing so it's very unsatisfying even though it does kind of look cool okay so we're also getting hung up on objects like these rocks are really glitchy we can't move smooth over them yeah like it's almost like an invisible wall right here yeah why would i ever why would i ever shoot these zombies oh there's another zombie asset but why would I ever... Well, I guess in that situation. Let's see if we can kill this guy with a Molotov. Maybe we can... Make him go through the fire? No? Okay, so I don't like the, the level up sound effect. is like an explosion. Rather than the kind of sound you would expect. Like some kind of a cheerful tune or something like that when you level up. So the sounds are a mess. This, the sound of you hitting zombies doesn't sound right. Uh, again, it should be like a, you know, it should sound like a bullet hitting a, a body. And we should hear growls from the zombies. Like, most of the sounds just sound terrible. And no sound from, like, the fire of the Molotovs. Um... I'm getting hung up on different objects on the terrain. And it doesn't look like there's any way that I can run faster. Uh, like some of these games, like I know I've even used games where you, the further away you move the mouse from your character, the faster you move, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. There's just nothing that complex to make this game stand out. I mean, this is just a bigger zombie asset of this one here just increase size and we're again getting caught up on terrain and rocks so it looks like this developer does have some talent of taking assets and making a game but i feel like he put this out on steam when it was like 10 percent done and just put a few different maps together with different monsters or different objectives uh, and he's trying to get seven bucks for it. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm not real impressed with what I'm seeing here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how big this map is, if we would. Let's see. Okay, so we just have the edge of the map, and then we have an invisible wall, which I glitch out on. But let's go ahead and come down here. Let's see if we can find the bottom edge. I'm just curious. Okay, so let's... So we're at five... Five minutes and ten seconds. Like the developer can't even be prop, can't even bother to properly make a timer. Instead of like five oh eight, it says five eight, and instead of five oh nine, it says five nine. So, like a very lazy coding to even make a proper timer. Um, but anyway, we started at like five fifteen, guys. Let's we'll see how long it takes to go from one side of the map to the other. I'm going to guess less than 45 seconds. And the, the edge of the map looks terrible. 
So rather than putting in mountains or rocks or something like that around the edge of the map, so you can't see the the actual boundary. Like, yeah, you see the see being able to see the outside of the map like this is terrible. Uh, so yeah, about forty five seconds is all it takes to go from one side of the map to the other, and then there's just terrain and random enemies uh, scattered throughout the map, and then you level up by killing creatures, and you hear a bang every time you level up, which is offsetting and out of place so the sound effects are terribly done the timer is terribly coded the uh i guess the skill points are cool but my problem with this is there's nothing no no items to collect no crates to bash and get items no gold to collect no vendors to sell stuff to no npcs no quest givers nothing like that and i know on steam if you wait for a sale you can get a probably a triple a game for around this price, it's going to have... Like, I've seen Grim Dawn, guys, for like five bucks for around the same price all the time. And Grim Dawn is a play uh, game like this with far superior graphics. You can play co-op with up to four people that actually has a big, open, breathing world, a uh, huge map, quests, items that you can collect, uh, different, you know, armor that you can wear, different classes, all kinds of stuff. And this is just... I mean, while it looks like this developer does have talent, uh, I am going to say it does look like he has the talent to make a proper game. He just needs to put in a lot more work and actually make a complete game, not just rush a few levels up to try to sell it for some money on Steam. Because this isn't the proper way to to do a game like this. And so Lucas, uh, not trying to knock you down, but there's no way this is worth $7. Uh, again... Grim Dawn right now, guys, you can get, this is what I'm talking about, for less money, you can get Grim Dawn for $6.24. It goes on sale all the time. And this is what you could be getting for for less money right now. And you can play this co-op, and it has 68,000 reviews, 93% positive, a very deep action RPG, hack and slash, uh, with just, it's just 100 times better than what we're looking at right here. So there's no way that this game can compete with the competition, and that's just one example, guys. Uh, this is a not recommend, um, and in fact, this is just a... Um, this is going to be a get good a video, guys. And uh, let me look at my videos here. I don't even know what number, how many get goods we have. But let's see. Is this get good number three? Yeah, this is going to be get. It looks like this is going to be get good number three. Uh, and this is just games that are they're not quite bad enough to be misses because they do work and function, but they're just missing so much actual work and a kind of a, just a lazy quick money grab in my opinion. And uh, the developer decided not to complete this game and just lazily put out, you know, five different maps that you can go to with some assets. And he's definitely using assets. Uh, he doesn't have proper sound effects. He doesn't have anything to collect. He doesn't have any collectibles. He doesn't have gold. He doesn't have, you know, armor or weapons or anything like that. And so there's just so much better games that you can get for less money on Steam at any given time. Uh, so I definitely can't recommend this. Not bad enough to be a miss, but it's damn well close. I'd give this game like a 3 out of 10, and uh, that's right on the margins, right on the line between a miss video and a get good. And so, you know, he's just, just lucky that I see talent and skill uh, with this game, so I do think this developer has enough talent to make a good game, but it looks like he's trying to take the lazy, uh, the lazy way out. Uh, maybe he should either make a simpler game that's fully complete, or maybe he should just put more time into something like this and actually, you know, actually make a uh, full-fledged, legitimate action RPG game rather than just something, you know, five lazy levels that he's throwing out there and asking money for. So if this game was like 99 cents or $1.99, I'd probably recommend it, but at $6.99, I just can't. And so Lucas, uh, you know, make us a complete game, man, rather than just a few different random levels uh, with no reason to play. We have no goals, we have no quests, we have no storyline. Uh, the replay value is going to be absolute crap because you just have the same few assets over and over again. The game is glitchy. The sound effects are completely wrong or missing, period. And the map is a map that we can cross from left side to right side in about 45 seconds. 
So there's just nothing here that I can recommend at all, uh, except that you make a complete game, and then I'm sure people will be willing to pay $15 for it or something like that. But to ask $7 for this lazy, uh, cobbled together bunch of assets on five different empty maps is uh, not recommended. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Miss number, or not miss number, but get good at number three is right here. Uh, Lucas, you got to put more work into it, man. Don't uh, give up, uh, you know, your development because it looks like you have skills. But you're going to have to try a little bit harder than this to ask $7 for a game like this. Peace out, everybody. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Eternal Hunt and uh, my review of it. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.